For these sheet pan fajitas, I'm using a pound of boneless skinless chicken breasts, but this recipe would also work with thighs, with lean beef such as skirt steak, or flank steak, or sirloin, or a pound of shrimp, or you could skip the meat and you could do some portobello mushrooms, or just double the vegetables. Speaking of vegetables, I'm using a red bell pepper, a yellow bell pepper, a poblano pepper, a yellow squash, and a red onion. For seasoning, I have ancho chili powder, smoked paprika, coriander, cumin, oregano, garlic, and salt. The recipe also calls for some vegetable oil and a lime, and then for serving, you want to use either flour tortillas or corn tortillas, and then any desired toppings such as guacamole, shredded cheese, salsa, sliced jalapenos, cilantro, whatever you like. In a small bowl, combine your chili powder, cumin, coriander, oregano, smoked paprika, and season with salt to taste. In a medium bowl, combine your chicken with about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, as little or as much garlic as you like. I used about two teaspoons garlic paste, and then about half of your spice mixture. And give all of that a good stir so that the chicken is evenly coated with the oil and the spices. Next on your baking sheet, you want to place the chicken in an even layer on one side of the baking sheet. Leave that other side empty for now because that's where you're going to put the vegetables. Next, you want to add the remaining vegetable oil and spice mixture to your peppers, onions, and squash. Give everything a good stir. I like to use tongs to kind of toss and make sure that I get everything on the bottom and pull it up to the top so that everything is good and coated with the oil and the spices. Next, you wanna add those vegetables to the empty side of your baking sheet. It's gonna look like a big pile, but as the vegetables cook, they will lose some of their volume and it won't be so bulky. Just try to get them in a, as even of a layer as you can. And then just place the baking sheet under the broiler for about five minutes. Meanwhile, heat your tortillas you can do it in the microwave or wrap them in foil and place them in the oven while your fajitas are cooking. That's the fastest, easiest way. Or heat them individually in a dry skillet on the stove or on a griddle. After about five minutes under the broiler, give the chicken and vegetables a good stir with the tongs and then return the sheet pan to the broiler so everything can finish cooking. You see after 10 minutes under the broiler the vegetables are taking on a slight char around the edges and the chicken looks completely cooked through um, the next step is to give everything a squeeze of lime juice and then just pile everything in the tortillas and add any toppings that you like